Hello, and welcome to your Daily Strength Coach Podcast, Episode 2, Getting Back into Strength Training. Welcome back for the second episode. Um, we're going to be answering a, a question from the YouTube comments section from yesterday's episode. Today is the 24th of the 6th, 2015. Um, if you're listening back to this, this is when that was recorded, obviously. Um, the question comes from Jimbo, um, one of our forum members and one of the members of the gym, uh, University, University of Edinburgh CSE that we, I've been tra- training at for a few years now. Um, he says, really enjoy your content, Mark. Thanks a lot, Jimbo. New website, podcasting, sounds brilliant. Glad you glad you sound the like of it. <laughs> glad that you sound so, glad that you like the idea of it. What would your advice be to someone coming back to strength training after a bit of a down period of training, doing bodybuilding nonsense, i.e., me three days a week? Thanks, Jimbo. Well, what I would advise in this scenario, Jimbo, would be just to clarify in the first instance in your own head exactly what it is you want to get stronger at. Um, Strength training can mean a lot of different things for different people. If you're looking to get into strongman, you might be interested in doing a lot of overhead work, uh, might be be overly interested on deadlift versus the squat. Depending on what kind of strongman you are, you might not even squat in your training, even though it might be a a competitive event. I'm sure there are some strong men listening to this if uh, we have that kind of audience who probably don't even squat in their own training or if they do, it's much more of a an assisted exercise, not really something they focus on. If you're a, a weightlifter, strength training for you is going to be weight, is going to be primarily clean and jerk snatch and derivatives of that. Um, also back and front squat as assisted exercises as well as pulls. If you're looking to get into powerlifting or the powerlifting kind of movements, then strength training is just going to be squat, bench, and deadlift. Um, if you're just looking to get into strength training per se, as you want to get stronger, then strength training could be anything. It could be chin-ups, um, it could be dumbbell row, <laughs> um, it could be shoulder press, a dumbbell shoulder press, and it depends on what level of strength you're coming into. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to pigeonhole um, any kind of exercise selection as strength training, and that, that would kind of be the the meaning of that of that little uh, intro there. Um, just in your own head, decide what you mean by strength training. And then I'm assuming you're saying that you've been doing bodybuilding training. I'm going to assume that's going to be a lot of high repetition work, eight to twelve reps, um, three to five sets, using lots of exercise variation, um, which it. Bodybuilding assistance has a place in pretty much any strength program, I believe. Um, but if you want to get back into just pushing your numbers up and whatever your chosen lifts were, I'd say you probably want to spend the next four weeks um, of your three-day-a-week cycle just performing some light volume of those those works. Um, have a target in mind, either an old 1RM that you've done or um, a target 1RM you'd like to hit to and look to work at a, lots of percentage work of that. So to stop this being abstract now, I'm just going to pick out the three power lifts just because at the end of the day that your online strength coach is going to be targeted towards power lifting and just general strength training. Um, so for the three power lifts, um, I have a reasonable idea what your strength levels were, um, but I'm just going to throw out ballpark figures. Um, let's say you wanted to, you squatted 180 RM and you've not lifted anywhere near that for squat Recently, you've benched a 130, and you've not lifted anywhere near that in the last three months, and you've deadlifted 220, and you've not lifted anywhere near that in the last three months. Let's say that's your scenario. So you're looking at 180, 130, and 220. So over the next um, four weeks, I would be looking to start at a very lightweight, um, probably looking at 50 to 60% of that RM, probably let's say 50% to put a, a marker on it. So let's say you're going to do three sessions a week. Sessions one and three are going to be three lift sessions. You'll perform the back squat. You'll perform a deadlift from a block or a deficit, depending on your preference. That will depend on where your weakness lies. 
someone who's shit off a four probably chooses to do deficit. Someone who maybe doesn't find it too hard off a four, but maybe finds that that hole in their form is difficult, might go off a block and just straight up bench press. So in that session, we're going to perform four sets of six at 50%. So that for you will mean that you're going to, your first session of the week is going to be a 90 kilo squat, for four sets of six, um, deadlift from blocks, 110, and um, four sets of six, and you're going to do four sets of six on the bench press of 75, oh, nine, 75, 65 kilos. And that's going to sound really light, because um, it is. But what we're doing here is we're getting used to the frequency of lifting. So session two, you will do squat, you will do bench press, and you will do some kind of lower back strength exercise. That is absolutely done to you what you do. You can do hyper extensions, you can do reverse hypers, you can do good mornings. Um, you can do stuff like deadlifts. Uh, completely up to you what you do, but you'll do some kind of lower strength, um, kind of ha- posture chain, hamstrings, glutes, strength exercise. Session three, you're basically just going to repeat session one. So the exact same loads, the exact same exercises, except for deadlift, you will now go from the floor. So on day one, if you were going from the deficit, you're now lifting the barbell from the floor. That'll be your first week. The exercise selection in this first block of training will stay the exact same. You will not change the exercise selection. So if you choose to go for deficit deadlift on the first session, then you will stick with that for four weeks. If you choose to use um, reverse hyper as your posterior chain exercise on day two, you will stay with that. And of course, deadlift from the floor will remain the same. Back squat will remain the same throughout. Flat bench press will remain the same throughout. We will perform four sets to six every week. So week one, we're going to do 50%. Week two, we're going to go 60%. Week three, seventy percent, and week four, we'll just go up to seventy-five percent. We're actually going to get into an eighty percent range, and you'll just, this way of training will just give you a chance to want to accumulate yourself to volume of training, and um, you'll get a nice bleed in, so you're not trying to get too heavy too early, which will give you a chance like the fifty, the sixty percent, and the seventy percent weeks, and probably even the seventy-five percent week will give you a chance just to work on your groove, get back into your form, get back in the way of doing things. So you're not trying to chase um, rep PBs yet. You're not trying to chase heavy weights yet. You're just getting into good training habits to start with. It, probably, in my opinion, this first block of training that you're going to go under is probably going to be the most important block of training you're going to do, certainly for the next six months. If you go for... Um, if you're trying to get back into... Like, you're trying to get into power lift the meat or you're trying to go back to weight lift the meat... Or you're just you're, you're starting your season again. Um, maybe you're a sports player, and you're starting your first block of strength training. That very first block, um, from in my opinion, is the most important block. What it does is sets up habits. So you want to set up good habits. You don't want to set up. Um, you don't want to get caught chasing the weight too early. You don't want to sacrifice form for weight. You don't want to let your ego get ahead of yourself at this point. You want it to be boring. You want it to be light, and you just want to pay attention to things like your form, and the, the time, like how long it takes you in the gym. If normally, it takes you three hours. You're chatting your mates, whatever. Because the workout's so easy, you can start. You can start getting in the habit of just getting through it quickly, so you're not in there for ages because you feel like you're doing nothing. And um, and this kind of habit of just coming in with the sole focus of training doing your training and getting out, I think it's a very important habit to get into. Um, and this first block is going to set that up nicely. So that's how I would go about it. Just just a block of um, targeted f- um, volume work. And then before before we wrap up here, just talk lightly about assistance. Make the assistance um, general and not specific. So if you're, if you're doing the three power lifts, then your pressing assistance should be shoulder- and pretty much all the shoulders, I wouldn't worry about um, doing any kind of chest assistance. Just concentrate on your shoulders because you're not really going to get a workout that they would do with bench press. Um, for lower body assistance, I would concentrate heavily on ab work probably. And then any other assistance, I would target at shoulder. Uh-